Etsy is a really cool online platform used all over the world for buying and selling all kinds of goods, mostly handcrafted stuff, gifts, toys, craft supplies, and art, etc. But it's also a great source of making passive income without much effort on your side. Let's see how it works. So in today's video, I'll show you how to set up an Etsy print-on-demand store with a print provider. And the print provider we will be using today is Printify. So Printify will allow us to create and sell printed stuff such as t-shirts, mugs, backpacks, bags, notebooks, stickers, and so much more. The great thing is that you don't have to maintain a store inventory and you don't even have to worry about shipping the products to your customer. And your customer has no way of knowing that it wasn't you who made the product. First thing to do is to sign up to Etsy and set our store there. So when you make an account, go to sell on Etsy. It will ask you a few questions. What brings you to Etsy? It will ask you, do you need help with anything? And after that, we can start our shop. Name your shop and that's the exact same name uh, and email address that you're going to use to in order to make a Printify account. When you get to the page, create a listing, then go to Printify to make an account with the same email. And it's going to ask you about eight questions, answer that you have your own e-commerce store, that convenience brings you to Printify, and that you don't yet um, fulfill your custom printed products or merchandise that you're just getting started. Okay, then connect your store with Printify. Name your store the same way you did on Etsy. And as you can see, this store is not connected. So let's connect it. Go to manage my stores and connect. Choose that you have a sales channel on Etsy. And when you see this, this will allow Printify to do everything we wanted to do, which is connect to our account, create or edit listings, delete listings in, uh, in case anything's out of stock that will get you out of uh, many complications when a customer orders something that is perhaps out of stock. Uh, it will update your shop, update receipts, and see all checkout and payment data. So grant access. And this will allow us to upload products directly from Etsy to Printify. And this will allow us to upload products from Printify to Etsy. And now let's upload a product. So click on gross products. So I'm just going to pick out a simple t-shirt. Printify will give you options on all the print providers. The things to look out here are of course price, rating, location, depending on where you are, color variants, and sizes that are usually always the same for everyone. After you select your um, print provider, you click on start designing. Uh, a website that can really help us with creating our own designs is our go-to platform Canva. It is very important that the design you select is made by you. You can of course select templates on Canva, but make sure to make it your own. And making it your own is just playing with elements. You can, of course, take um, someone else's design, but it is just important to avoid any kind of fuss with copyright or someone claiming uh, rights to this design. So now I'm going to upload a design I made the other day. It's just a simple flower. It's very minimalist. It is important that the design is not low resolution, which can get you unsatisfied customers and can get you in all sorts of problems. So make sure it is at least medium resolution. After you adjusted your design, click save product. Next step is choosing a mock-up that is going to show up uh, on your store and and show potential customers how this design would look. Make sure to name your product and scroll down to prices and variants. Retail prices are shown in USD only. Please take note that these prices do not include shipping. You can change them however you want and it's always good to increase your profit but not to make your product too expensive so 
nobody buys it. You can also check the similar products here, see how they are priced and compare them to your product and make up your mind. As I said, these prices do not include shipping. You can, of course, try to stand out and make yourself seem like you're better than other sellers and other shops by offering free shipping but actually hiding the shipping cost uh, in but actually hiding the shipping cost in the price of the product the choice is yours you can also click on hide in store just in case you decide to make something better or different later the choice is yours again and this is automatic it will only show in stock variants and hide out any uh, out of stock variants as i said before this will get you out of many complications if a customer orders something that is out of stock. And publish. Make sure to download this image of the product and now go back to your Etsy shop and upload it here to create a listing, photos, upload the mock-up here, and go to listing details, select a similar name, and here select that you made it. What is it? A finished product made to order. Category, women's. In category, select women clothing and t-shirts. The primary color here is white. After that, fill out these uh, characteristics of your product. Here, select automatic and physical because this product is physical and in the description you can copy the description of the product from Printify. And production partners, this is very important. A production partner is anyone who is not a part of your Etsy shop who helps you physically produce your items. Here we need a production partner, Printify. And here you write that this production partner helps you print out um, items and you don't have the equipment to do that yourself. And click on save partner. And Etsy will also ask you why are you working Working with this partner you don't have the technical ability or equipment but you design everything yourself here you set the price when you uh, get to this part uh, origin zip code uh, go to printify california zip code for example and and copy this zip code and this is where we get to the part if you want to offer free shipping i would suggest uh, hiding the shipping cost and the product and maybe making the price a bit higher. You can also preview shipping price. After that, you just select how you'll get paid. You have a many Etsy payment options, uh, set up billing and your shop security. And that's it. Follow the same process every time you want to post a listing. And both Printify and Etsy and Canva offer you much more options than just a simple t-shirt with a minimalist design. Explore how much product you can make and how Printify can help you um, make these products and ship them out. It's a great source of passive income without having to deal with all the delivery fuss and someone ordering something out of stock because Printify kind of stops that for you and go have fun design uh, link the platforms and sell and of course subscribe to mr money for more tips and advices on how to make money online thanks for watching